Yeah, there's a... Uh, so the way they're presented is interesting because there's there's nowhere in game where you can actually buy currency per se, but uh, there are definitely ways in which you are intended to be siphoned off to the PlayStation Store or the Xbox or the Xbox Live to buy things. So like, right. for instance, they have the uh, easy fatalities, which is weird. Which is, yeah. which is a weird thing because fatalities are not hard, people. Like, they're, not, I don't, they're really I, not. I, I don't yeah. get like like it's like doing like if you can do a fireball motion, you yeah. can. Do a fatality like going toward really, down square. Yeah, it's yeah. not tough. Yeah. So that's kind of a yeah. weird thing to me. I guess, I guess the question is, how do you win a fight without being able to do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like if you literally can't do anything that complex, then like I don't know who you're beating right. exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. So, so these are these are tokens that you can buy for for there's a five dollar pack and a yeah. A, and and a, yeah, a couple of different packs. There's, there's like a thirty. I think there's a thirty pack of those. Right. Like a Ninety-nine five. cent pack and a four ninety-nine. Right. The four ninety-nine is, is thirty. Is thirty uh, of those tokens. Then they also have tokens for skipping fights in the story <laughs> mode. Yeah. Um, and I, think that I don't works. think you can purchase those though yet, <laughs> but I bet they're coming. Oh, it's got to be coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be coming. But I mean, like, just just as soon as you start incentivizing these things, yeah. Um, but but they, that way. they also have the twenty dollar upgrade where you can skip all of the progression. So yeah, so the the crypt is the crypt is back. And the crypt is the way you you unlock everything in uh, in uh, in Mortal Kombat, all, all the costumes, all the music and stuff. But you can either grind and earn gold to do that, or now they just drop on us that yeah, you can pay twenty bucks and you just get all that stuff. Or you can just go to IGN, wiki, find out what all the coins are, get what you want, and don't spend any. Plug, plug, plug. And 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 of course they've got Goro on the on the main character selection screen, mm -hmm. where if you didn't pre-order it, you don't you don't have him. It just says. Yeah. Press X to buy, um, and I, I guess that may or may not I work. I don't know if you can buy them right now. Right, right. they may or may not, not, not work. I don't think you can. Yeah, that's misleading to me. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. but also annoying. And so that's in-game, you know, advertising for DLC. It is. I mean, like it's not an actual ad, right? But I mean, that's practically what it, it that is. That is an ad. You know, it's it, it, it's um, and then and then you, you go the next step with it even as you go to the title screen, and right on the title screen, like the whole first top half of the title screen is buy stuff. Is is you know on the right there's yeah the towers and and there's other stuff, but right there dead in the middle is here's your link to the store. Go there now and, and, store. Yeah. And, and and buy stuff. I'm like, there's a limit to how much I'm willing to put up with in my experience before I start feeling like I'm being marketed to. Yeah. And MKX went like right to the line. Like yeah. it went right to the line and stopped like one more hair, it would have teetered over, and I would have been like, okay, this is really bothering me. Anyway. Well, I mean, I, I think we, we do need to point out that none of these things that we've pointed out so far, none of them have, I mean, except for Goro, none of them have any gameplay impact whatsoever. Sure. Uh, that's not true. Uh, the Crypt stuff, if you fully unlock the Crypt, you get all the brutalities, and you can't do that without unlocking them first. There is no way to easily do that by uh, farming coins. You actually would have to spend... I did the math, about 30 hours, if you get 500 coins a match, it would be about 30 hours to unlock everything on the crypt. The brutalities are still just like cosmetic they're finishing just, moves, right? They are just, they're, oh, yeah, to say their gameplay is, but that's the thing that's tough about it. And yeah. then I had this conversation, like, are fatalities cosmetic or are they gameplay? They're a thing you do, but they're not a thing that impacts whether or not you win, so... Yeah. It's kind of like a skin on the finishing move. Right, it's, yeah, it's almost okay. like what it's like, it's almost right. like what it is, you know? So, so it's you, so, say. you said they didn't pass the line. I have to disagree. I think they're past the line at this point. We've become kind of complacent about on-disc DLC being okay to charge for. Goro being there in the menu as a pre-order incentive so that they can inflate their pre-order sales records, I really, really take an issue with that, and developers need to stop doing that. And what I, what I oh, sorry, oh, well, no, no, I agree with that. Like, I, I mentioned that there's some of the microtransactions that don't really bother me, but Goro being on the disc and being in the menu, and when and you go you fight and, him, and you fight him, and I'm pretty sure if you, in certain towers, you can end up fighting as him, even if you haven't bought him. The but, career tower right now allows you to play as him, even if you haven't. Oh wow! Right as it drops, like <laughs> yeah. what a surprise! Yeah. <laughs> that that I have an issue with, like the the crypt unlock for twenty bucks. You know, it doesn't really bug me. My time's worth more than twenty dollars, especially if it takes thirty hours to get the coins. Uh, but yeah, the Goro being on the disc is just really upsetting. Well, they, here's a counterpoint to that, where they do already give you twenty four characters, which as as we discussed in the previous segment, like that's a, a fair number of characters to charge sixty dollars for. Um, so whether he's on the disc or not, like. Does that really make a difference? The base game is sixty dollars. Goro, let's be nice, say he's four ninety nine, right? Plus the character pack that is twenty four ninety nine, I believe. Mm. It's starting to add up 
back. You I'm, unlock the crypt. That's another twenty dollars. You've now spent a hundred dollars for a base product, so that you can do all the brutalities, play as one of the characters, and experience all the skins. Yeah. Yeah, but again, like, and we've had this discussion before, like, even with Destiny, which is not really microtransaction related, but grind related, right? Like, yeah. I come from a generation of players who just grinding was what you did that was yeah. just a part of the game yeah. and, and like to me i don't mind if it took 30 hours if it took uh, 300 hours to yeah. unlock all the stuff in the crypt i wouldn't care I, I would be like okay that's fine i'll just i find this fun i'm gonna do it but the second there's a price and i don't care if the price is five dollars ten dollars or twenty dollars as soon as there's a price for it you put a you place a value on my time Literally, you know? like what and I now said, that makes me feel stupid for doing it like what yeah. i just said yeah my time yeah. worth more than that so i'm like okay cool yeah i'll spend the 20 bucks right but, but like that like that's like the, the entire point of, of one of these these systems for the, these progression systems is to make you feel like you're like this is something you should want to do but then they're incentivizing you to pay to not have to do it so it's it's it, they they're labeling it a chore something you should pay the, to get rid of they've also made it so prohibitive you know based on how much they give you coin wise that you're more apt to spend the twenty dollars and if we talk about their mobile app for a second you cannot beat that without spending money. They said you can, but I've already hit the paywall at level 12, where you just simply cannot progress any further without spending gold, you know? And the gold they give you per match is like 10, and one, the lowest silver character is 35,000 gold. So at, at, that, at the same time though, like this game is fully, effectively fully functional without spending any extra money. Like you get the 24 fighters, you get all the modes, you get this progression system, which feels grindy. But you do you do get all of that, which is ultimately why I didn't ding. This my score does not reflect any kind of uh, anything being taken off for this stuff. Only because yeah, I do feel like what I got, what you, what average Joe will get for their sixty dollars without spending another dime, is fully featured and substantial. And that's always where I'm going to come down is whether or not what we were given was you know handicapped or hamstrung by other plans to make us pay more. I don't feel in this case that MJX is a hamstrung game unless you spent more. I just think that it's, I'm uncomfortable with how forward they are about saying, hey, can you spend more? Kyle, what do you, what do you think? Is it, is it broken or not? Uh, I don't think it's broken. Right? I agree that I don't think it's broken like that, and I agree that you shouldn't have let it impact your total score, but Goro being on the disc really bugs me. And because I paid $60 for this game, the game should be everything on the disc, but then you're making me pay an extra, like you said, five ninety nine for what's on the disc already, and that really bugs me. And then they're like, oh, if you pre-order it, which I did for the Xbox, I'm gonna get two versions of it. If you pre-order it, you're 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 gonna get Goro, which is totally done to inflate their pre-order numbers, which yeah. is totally and that's not serving the consumer. That's not serving the person you're making the game for. It's serving the company who develops it, develops it, and its investors or however. Yeah, it's, pub, it's a publisher, really. Publisher, yeah. <clears throat> and Destin, you you think that it is kind of broken without buying more? Money. Remember when you bought Mortal Kombat One and everything was on the <laughs> disc and you found the cool secret stuff? That was fun. Yeah. And today, people are stripping stuff out of their games to charge you more money to buy it. And we need to stop saying that's okay. All right. Well, that's uh, that's what we think about that. Was some 